Hello and welcome to Road Adventure Photos. Today we're in the office and we're going to take a look at some old photos. I started the Ohio County Photography Project quite some time ago and back then all I had was a Fuji camera that was about the equivalent of a a toy camera today. But I realized that I really liked the digital photography with that camera because I wasn't tied to the standard film developing process and all the cost that that entails. And I decided I wanted a project and I took this little trip to Adams County, Ohio, enjoyed the process of uh, the photos, as you see, they're just there. I mean, there's nothing good or bad, but they did document Adams County for me at that time. And uh, let's take a look at some of them. The first is the courthouse in West Union. That is the Adams County Courthouse. And you can kind of get an idea of the time frame by the cars. So if you're ever doing photography that you may want a timeline, the cars can give you a rough estimate that this was around the year 2000. The next photo is just a barn. I was kind of getting a feel of how to photograph Ohio. And in Ohio, you're going to have rural scenes, water. We've got a lot of rivers, lakes. You're going to have the uh, downtown area. You're, you're going to have the courthouse in every county. And these scenes are, are ones you can pretty much depend on. So the classic barn photo has come up in a lot of the future counties and there's quite a few of these chapels the rural areas are full of very picturesque little churches and this one is the Beasley Fort Chapel and another one that goes along with the covered bridges would or that goes along with the waterways is covered bridges so i always check to see if there's a covered bridge they're always interesting they uh they just make good photos and it's a piece of history and a lot of them aren't going to be around that long if they have a team of people trying to preserve them they they could be around for a while but there's not a lot of use for them, so the uh, counties don't really like to upkeep them. This one is the uh, Harshaville Bridge. This is the side view here. It was pretty run down, and the sides of it were just like some old sheet metal that it was rusting. And it had this interesting bent, or, uh, arc style truss I guess you'd call it on the inside where it was multiple layers of boards that have been soaked and bent into this curve for, for a lot of strength and it's lasted a long time and that is the Kirker cover bridge interior the, the Kirker Cover Bridge is close to West Union where the uh, courthouse is. That's the front of the Kirker Bridge, built in 1890. Now the dates you see on things in Ohio, as I've taken these pictures, I've kind of got a rough idea of what history was like just by looking at the dates of the buildings. A lot of your large fancy courthouses 
and bridges, a lot of infrastructure really took off after the Civil War period. And they were well built in that time too because they're still around. There's a mail pouch barn. I run into a lot of the mail pouch advertising. And some of it's false, some, I mean fake, it's uh, been done after the fact, or it's not real ma mail pouch, but this one was real. And uh, the, the mail pouch ads came about because I believe it was the Depression era when everything was hard to come by, but mail pouch would paint your barn for free if you put that ad on there. You didn't get any advertising dollars, but you did get a free coat of paint, which was considerable at that time. Adams County is a Ohio River County, and all of those are interesting. Now at this point here in Adams County, there's an island very close, and I, read that in in history that this was a dangerous area to pass through because Indians could wait on this island. It was a choke point where you could be attacked from both sides right there. So the commerce on the on the river today is still Kind of fun to watch. It's uh, they maneuver these huge barges, and the posts like this here are often used to tie up some of these larger boats. And that's the last photo of the Kirker Bridge with a modern bridge right next to it. So that's all I've got for Adams County. Someday I'll be back. It was an interesting area. I, I do remember that it was a little frustrating to find picturesque places because so much of it was private property. But when I do these trips, I've only got a day. So sometimes there's things right under my nose and I miss them. It's, uh, you know, I used to post these online back when it was a lot more fun. <laughs> when we didn't have video and thing, you would, you could put, uh, you could put your photos in forums and people would have a good time discussing them and it was just a, a simpler time you the trolls were were fewer and farther between but uh, that was how things were and hopefully I'll be back and I'll get improved pictures the next time so that was it for Adams County. I hope you enjoy the series on the Ohio counties. The next county, I believe, is Allen County. So I'll do the same thing for it. I'll take the old photos and make a video with them. And hope you enjoy. Goodbye. <laughs>